Now you may be interested to know that for the last five hours, these cooks have had a uh, field judge. There have been some judges that are responsible to make sure that the food has been kept at an appropriate temperature in the cooler so that it doesn't get too warm. They also then have to have their meats have to be uh, temp, so they have to make sure that their uh, meats are cooked to a safe level, whether it's chicken, pork, beef, whatever that is. They've had field judges going around and helping them with those kinds of things. The field judges look for some other kinds of things, and they award points in the following uh, about seven categories. Uh, was it prepared on time? Was it set up on time? Were the ovens clean? And were they free from a rancid odor? Before the teams even started, the field judges went around and smelled the pots to make sure they weren't rancid. Now, that, it's a bad thing if you're cooking in a rancid pot because it tastes rancid. It's not a problem. If you've got a pot that's rancid, all you have to do is just put warm water in there, uh, scrub it out a little good with a nylon scrubber or something like that, dump it out, put it on your stove, heat it up, and you're ready to go. Uh, Colleen Sloan, one of our expert judges, has also suggested that you take a mix of vinegar and water, four to one, and put that in the spray bottle, spray that in your oven, wipe it out, and then just heat it back up to dry it out, and that'll neutralize those odors and flavors. Uh, the other thing they're looking for is team dress and etiquette. Uh, are they dressed appropriately for the event? Um, are they the only teams in the cooking area? Do they, the teams have to have the two people. Both people cannot leave their area at the same time. There always has to be someone there in their cooking area, and there should be other people in their area. The other thing they look for is, is there any cooking or drinking in their area? There shouldn't be any cooks. If they need to have a, something to eat or, or take a drink or sit down for a minute, we do have a hospitality suite for the teams so that one person can go at a time over there. Uh, we also look for spectator interaction, how they interact with the crowd. Uh, do they share ideas? Do they help people understand what they're doing? Is they cooking and uh, helping them develop a desire to cook in a Dutch oven. We look for cleanliness, their personal cleanliness, how they handle food, do they handle it appropriately, like do they wear gloves when they're handling raw meat, and do they keep their uh, cooking area clean, and do they keep their ovens clean. Uh, I talked earlier about the food temperatures, so they'll check the meat chip temperatures. Uh, then they look at presentation, what they look for in presentation there is everything cooked and served from the pot. That excludes like extra drippings or gravies, but if they've uh, cooked a roast and there's a burnt spot, they can't cut that part off and then present it. They've got to present everything that's cooked in the pot. And then finally, they give them, uh, they judge them on sportsmanship. And uh, if the judges notice some bad sportsmanship, they can deduct a point. But uh, we don't see any bad sportsmanship in our group. Everybody uh, works really hard and learn to love one another. So. That's what the judges are doing right now. Uh, this is the part where all of us sit there and watch the judges eat. We all salivate. <laughs>